All right, guys, I really hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, QuickBooks course. And today we're going to tackle, I think, what's kind of a fun topic, and that is using classes uh, for our reports. So what I wanted to do is show you a couple of things. So uh, one thing that I like to do is I like to customize this view, this open windows list, and I like to have it to where I have profit and loss and balance sheet already shown. And so uh, right now, if we just do a quick profit and loss and we have our income, commission income, and our advertising and our profit on the business. But what we wanna do is uh, this real estate agent is starting to grow and he's starting to sell real estate in multiple locations. And so he really wants to be able to track uh, his reports to see which area is the most prof profitable for him so he can decide where to sell or uh, help home buyers buy properties. And so what we wanna do is and you'll wanna get pretty familiar with this as well. If you come up to edit and preferences, you have a whole list of items here that you can go and customize your QuickBooks to. And so we'll get uh, more and more familiar with these as we get going. But the one that we're gonna focus on today is just in the accounting. And then you always have a couple of tabs here, my preference or company preference. And so uh, you'll wanna, you know, get used to where you go on. Sometimes it just takes a while to kind of remember everything. But this one, there are no personal preferences for accounting, but under our company preferences, we do. And so what we want to do is we want to turn on a use class tracking for transactions. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what that does as well. So uh, like I said, on these, so he has this income, these expenses, but he wants to be able to see which area the revenue is coming from. So if you remember going back to one of our videos, we talked about just making deposits. And from here, you can uh, customize it with the class right here. So a deposit to Wells Fargo, we're just saying this happened the first of the year. You got some commission income. Uh, we'll just say the Jones family property. But he wants to be able to track the location. And so we're gonna put uh, a county, because he sells in multiple counties. And then from here, you can do Washington County is not in the class list, so we want to be able to add it right there. And then we're going to click Save and New. You have changed the transa transaction. Do you want to record your changes? Yes. And then we're going to come into this one down here. And same thing, this was a February sale to the Johnson family property. And this one was in, uh, we'll just say, Cash County. We're gonna click Quick Add and Save. So now, what will happen when we go back to our reports? And the one thing that I like to do is always come up and click this Refresh button, and then that's gonna refresh everything. So now, if we come over to Reports, Company and Financial. Uh, remember we've been using the profit and loss standard, but now we want to come down and look at profit and loss by class. So now if we do that, then we can see that it separated those commissions, the 5,000 in Cache County and 4,000 to Washington County. And then you notice right here that the advertising expenses are still under this uh, general. So the unclassified is just more of a general. And so if we wanted to allocate this to one of the counties, which we'll just go ahead and do, then we can go in and just clear up the unclassified. Sometimes you just have general expenses that go for both. And so it's okay to leave it in the unclassified. So same thing on this one, when we're writing the checks, filling in all the, all the details. So if you wanted to start here and you can just tab your way through the areas until you get to class. This one we'll just put it to Washington. And then this one, same thing, we just tab through. We can put it to cash. So now I just come up, close out this, refresh our screen. And now look at this. We have our total, and everything's broken out perfectly towards Cash County and Washington County. And you can see that both are profitable, so maybe he wants to keep spending his time in there. So super, super 
amazing for being able to help go from this over to separating things out. So I would only use the class tracking if you need to separate it out for something specific and being able to look at details. But if you don't have anything that you would need to class and just keep it on the basics right here. Um, so just want to refresh that, come up, edit, preferences, accounting, company, and uh, use class tracking for transactions. And I like to have this checked as well, prompt to assign classes. That way as you're going through and you're doing anything that's gonna pop up and remind you to uh, put it towards a class. Um, so super, super easy. Well, let's see, let's just go up and play for just a minute while we got some time. If you wanted to create an invoice, right here's your class tracking. So super easy to add it here. Or you can uh, tweet this out. And let's say that you have a couple items. The home staging was for cash. And you had one, you know, your, your vendor was pretty busy and they were able to do two separate areas for you. So you can break those out right here on the, on the invoicing. I'm gonna clear that out. And we've gone over inv invoicing before in the series, so if you haven't been to watch the invoices one, go back and catch that. Uh, same thing with vendors. So let's say we want to enter a bill, and let's put Zillow in here real quick. You can just tab through right here, class. If you needed a second one, boom, right there. So pretty easy on that. And we're just gonna go ahead and clear that. Uh, so we've gone over customer vendors. Let's just say we wanted to write a check. Same thing, class tracking right there. So you can see it's pretty easy. They have a, the cl class tracking pretty much everywhere. So I would just get used to uh, setting that up if you need it. And right here as well, if you wanna add a class list, you can come in here, click class, add new. Let's say that you wanna add Uinta. And right there you have the three of them. And you can do quick reports on those as well from right there. So super easy. Um, let me know if you guys love this feature. Um, I absolutely love it. So I have, a couple of different franchises and I have different locations and so I use it quite frequently to separate my income expenses from my different franchise locations. All right guys, let's keep moving forward. Thanks for uh, watching the videos.